up y'all hello it's me what's up <laughs> welcome back to the channel so today y'all can see i am scratching this riding itch because i rode my bike a couple of days ago but it was just to the store and back so today i'm actually gonna ride ride do me a little back road route and do a little story time of how I started riding and the bikes that I ended up purchasing including this one first of all um, I started riding in April of 2019 now I didn't have my license until May but I purchased my first bike in April of 2019 a month before my birthday so for my 28th birthday I went and I got my first bike Woo -woo. <laughs> and it was uh, probably one of the top three best purchases I have ever made so I started riding in April of 2019 I purchased a Kawasaki Vulcan S which is a 650 cc engine motorcycle it is the smallest cruiser in the Vulcan line and um, it has the same engine as the Ninja 650 so as you can imagine that bike um, <laughs> that I, I love that bike if I could put the speed and just the pick-me-up of that bike into this one who baby mm, I love that bike but first bike was a Vulcan 650 and um, less than I would say three months later it was about two to three months later I went back to my same dealership I told that man I said this ain't it <laughs> this is not it please and um, so I ended up getting the Kawasaki Vulcan 900 classic 900 classic I really wanted the custom I love the way that front wheel looked but I was so anxious to like get off that 650 now it's just like give me the classic I'll change the I'll change the wheel later but <laughs> just get me off the 650 so ended up getting a 650 not even two to three months after I had started riding and after I had gotten uh, my first bike um, so you know I rode around on the 900 for a few months doo -doo -doo. a few months later I would say probably about less than six months less than six months later I well, I already knew that this bike, <laughs> my Vaquero, my baby, was, was my dream bike. I knew after a few months of riding the 650, I knew that this was my dream bike. I knew I was going to get this bike. The mistake I made was not just getting it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I went to 900. I think I, was, I had a whole lot of people in my ear that were like, go from the 650 to 900. So then you can, get, you can gradually move up and wait. But honestly, none of those people who said that were paying my bills. So I should just <laughs> should have just got what I wanted from the beginning and then just learned my bike. Because honestly, I think I could have really started on a 900 and then moved up to this bike. In hindsight, I really think I could have started with this bike. But when it comes to the weight and like getting, you know, getting used to riding, I think the 900 would have been best for me. So that's it. That's my riding history. So from the 650 to the 900 to now the 1700, I moved up very quickly. <laughs> I moved up very quickly. I went from a 650 to a 1700 in less than a year. You do not have to start on a 650 because <laughs> that's what people told me. And I think it was really bad advice. Um, really bad advice. And I wouldn't recommend. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it now if you know that you want to like a small bike you know you just want to you just naturally just want a small bike then great go for it but I'm talking to the people who like know they want a big bike they know they want a bagger or they want a larger cruiser and they're just getting started that is for you like I would just I would just tell you you don't have to start on a 650 to to um so get into riding but I would suggest that you start less than a thousand actually I wouldn't even say that I would say start with the bike that feels comfortable 
when you sit on it and when you walk it that would be my suggestion that's just from personal experience now if the people you trust around you are telling you to get a 650 that's on you but for me as for me in my house <laughs> as for me in my house I think I could have started on a 900 and then moved up to a, a 1700 so that is my riding history y'all already know I'm itching to get back on the road cause I'm trying y'all <laughs> I'm so ready I'm so ready to get back on the road it does not make any sense like I've already like mapped out my next trip so I'm ready I'm ready to go ready to go I'm tired of this cold weather I'm ready to just not even have time to do mods because I'll be on somebody's highway that's really what I want but it's coming real soon real soon and I can't wait so anyway this is gonna be the end of this video you guys I'm about to take my little happy self home and get warmed up because it's a little chilly did I mention that it was 45 degrees out here so um, anyway I appreciate y'all rocking with me I will see y'all next time for the next ride